Hi, right, today I'm doing a review of the Microsoft Art Keyboard. It's a small wireless keyboard designed to, to be portable. My use is going to be a home theater PC system and I intend to use it in my living room area. So I'm hoping to get a range of around 10 to 20 feet um, to be able to type on. It looks like it's uh, compatible with uh, Windows, Mac, uh, requires two AAA batteries, USB, pretty standard in that way. Um, so I've cut the tape uh, that seals the box and pulled it open a little bit just to make it easier to, to get to. Uh, tore the box a little bit, but that's not a real big deal. Um, some kind of uh, well, protective canvas protective sleeve, that's kind of nice. One thing that I liked about this keyboard was that it's very small and very thin. Um, they said something, as you can see here, they say it's portable and most likely you can just plug this into a computer and when you're done just unplug the USB transceiver take it with you so it's got that little they call it a dock or something so a keyboard came in this nice case little case I don't know if you're supposed to keep it it's got a little recycling symbol on it I probably uh, won't worry about that uh, the USB transceiver nice and small modern um, probably a Microsoft driver disk. Ah, look at that, no disk, just some instructions. Not too worried, it's just a keyboard. They include some AA batteries, or triple, triple A batteries. I tend to use rechargeables, uh, so I'll probably keep those aside. Um, Another thing that I liked about this was that this keyboard is fairly sturdy. Um, I always do a flex test. I also liked how the button press feels. I always test keyboards for that kind of thing. And I think you should find a keyboard that you're comfortable to type on. And someplace like Best Buy is nice because they display most of their stuff. So it's got a soft feel. It's also kind of a shallow stroke, so you don't have to press it down real far or anything. I mean, pretty standard today. It's not a real big deal. Uh, here's just kind of showing you the, the length. Um, it's about a little, probably about a foot wide exactly. And you can see it's got a little little bit of an arc to it. I don't really suspect much of that will come into play. It's probably oh, a good seven, eight inches uh, deep. And I just got a couple of other keyboards. In fact, one of the keyboards it's replacing here is a Microsoft keyboard that was wired, and I've just been using it because my uh, prior wireless keyboard failed. And this has been a pretty good keyboard. Those keys are missing. Uh, it's not the quality of the keyboard. I took them off on purpose. Um, but just to sh kind of show you a couple things um, that I test for when I buy a keyboard is I always do this type of test. And this is not bad. You, you'll find a lot of OEM keyboards uh, will twist very, very much. And it's not that they're bad keyboards. It's just they won't hold up. Um, again, this has got a very similar uh, typing feel, and you know it's a shallower keyboard. It's a this one was a mild ergonomic, but the wiring has gone bad on it. That's yeah, probably about three or four years old. It's gotten used. And then I have this keyboard, which is a beast. Uh, it's an NMB, which are hard to find, but this thing hardly flexes at all. It is a. It's not a clicker. Uh, this is actually from the 90s. Um, I paid pretty good money for it back in the 90s, and I still use it. It's a great keyboard, but it's actually got the old AT-style connector on it, and I still use it as a PS2 
and I will probably use this keyboard as long as I can but um, they just don't make keyboards like this anymore that you're gonna find at a Best Buy okay I'm here today to finish up my review of the Microsoft Art keyboard and uh, I've actually been using it for a couple months now and I've been able to form a fairly solid impression of it this keyboard's replacing a Logitech MX3200 wireless which I always was very disappointed with the thing eight batteries it uh, range was terrible I mean 10 foot was about the most you could ever hope with brand new batteries and once batteries are wore down a little bit the range was terrible but this keyboard is restored by faith uh, my I originally was hoping to get 10 to 20 foot I'm very happy to say that I would call their rating of 30 30 or 30 some foot accurate there's a couple things that would be nice if this keyboard had them and one would be that if it had backlit keys or if they had a version that had backlit keys for say ten or twenty dollars more I think that'd be worth it in my case I'm using it as a home theater PC and so sometimes it's dark and it's hard to you know obviously it's hard to see the keys uh, with no light or just the light from the TV um, but it's not a real big deal. I mean, if you can type, you know, how to find the home keys and that sort of thing. The other minor thing that would really be nice if it didn't have this glossy finish. I mean, as you can see, you know, it just gets all smudgy and everything that glossy does. It's just what glossy does. I don't know, maybe certain, some people don't have uh, oily skin or maybe I have oilier skin. But um, it just, you know, it it's not a real big deal at all it's just you know it, it just gets to actually looking messy it looks like you've cooked a burger on it or something after a couple of weeks I actually wiped it off before this review as far as batteries go um, so far this has been really kind on batteries especially compared to that Logitech 3200 which used four double A batteries and they would literally last about two weeks and uh, in this uh, my first batteries were rechargeables and they were about half charged and they last two or three weeks and uh, it's been a couple months and so now it's probably uh, been about a month to a month and a half um, that these um, alkaline batteries have been installed and they're working fine but overall I really like the keyboard uh, because it is smaller and if you put it in your lap uh, if it's centered it is a little off centered actually because there's no number pad and honestly if it had a number pad uh, with with this size and everything I think it would be perfect uh, a couple of things to note uh, these are your arrow keys right here and they take a little getting used to I didn't like it at first and uh, actually I'm glad that I didn't notice that when I when I was looking at them because I may not have bought this keyboard but uh, after using it for a while I don't have any problem at all it's kinda like using the uh, touchpad on a uh, laptop or something I mean just once you get used to it if you give it a chance uh, you don't find any issues with it at all so it's a little different configuration um, you know you got your delete key backspace volume um, your home keys page up and down function keys function keys right here um, but I really like it it's a nice keyboard the range is great and uh, that sort of thing so I'm very happy with it so this is vicious animal thing doing a review on the Microsoft art keyboard and uh, they're on you can buy them for around sixty dollars I believe is the street price and overall I'm pretty happy with it I really don't have any complaints just some minor details and if you're looking for a wireless keyboard especially one that you know you could consider portable uh, I would definitely recommend this I, I mean it's actually really would be great 
if you wanted to carry a keyboard around with you. Uh, if it wasn't one of them roll up ones or something, I mean this would probably actually be better than that. So thank you for watching my review and I hope you found it helpful. Uh, leave a comment, follow my channel, I hope to do more reviews soon and uh, I'll chat at you later.